Please like and subscribe our channel for trending news. Cal Thomas, Trump boldly wades into cutting federal government down to size will it work? Of all the promises candidate Donald Trump made during the 2016 presidential campaign, none will be more difficult to fulfill than cutting the size and cost of the federal government. That's because Congress, which must decide whether to keep a federal agency, has the final word in such matters and spending, especially spending in one's home state or district, is what keeps so many of them in office. Who doubts that self-preservation is the primary objective of most members of Congress? Ronald Reagan made similar promises about reducing the size of the bloated federal government, but was unable to fulfill them because of congressional intransigence. Perhaps his most notable failure was attempting to eliminate the Department of Education, an unnecessary cabinet-level agency created by Jimmy Carter, reportedly as the fulfillment of a campaign promise to the National Education Association NIA, the largest labor union in the United States, which backed him in the 1976 and 1980 elections. This pity statement by Reagan got to the heart of the issue, no government ever voluntarily reduces itself in size. Government programs, once launched, never disappear. Actually, a government bureau is the nearest thing to eternal life we'll ever see on this earth. President Trump has asked every federal agency to submit a reorganization plan to the White House. Some programs, like the U.S. Geological Surveys, USGS, Biological Survey Unit, BSU, are decades old. The BSU was established in 1885, and among its tasks is the preservation of the hooping crane. Last I checked those birds seem to be doing okay, but why is this, along with so many other things, a responsibility of the federal government? Reorganization of these outmoded and unnecessary programs and agencies should not be the goal. Elimination should be the goal. Unless they are killed off, the risk of their return is likely. What's needed is a strategy that shames Congress, which sometimes seems beyond shame, for mispending the people's money. What will help in that shaming is for the president to establish an independent commission made up of retired Republicans, Democrats, and average citizens. This commission would conduct a top-to-bottom audit of the federal government and present its findings to Congress, while simultaneously releasing them to the public, which would then apply to see